Take in, understand or absorb information. I just finished reading that new report on market trends. Did you take in the key points? I skimmed through it, but I need some more time to take in all the details. It's quite extensive. Take your time. It's important that you take in the data thoroughly before our strategy meeting tomorrow. Definitely. I want to take in all the relevant information to contribute effectively during the discussion. By the way, have you had a chance to take in the feedback from the client meeting? They had some specific concerns. I took in the main points, but I'll review the detailed feedback later today. It's crucial to take in their concerns and address them promptly. Good idea. It's essential to take in constructive criticism to improve our services and meet client expectations. I completely agree. I always try to take in feedback with an open mind to enhance our performance. It's a valuable skill to be able to take in information quickly and make informed decisions. I appreciate your commitment to that. Thank you. It's crucial in our fast-paced environment to take in information efficiently and act on it promptly. Sports. Have you been following any sports lately? Yeah, I've been watching the football matches. The season has been pretty exciting so far. I haven't had much time for it, but I did catch a few games. Any standout teams or players? Well, the underdog team has been surprising everyone. Their new striker has been on fire. That's always fun to see. I've been more into basketball lately. The playoffs were intense. Oh, the basketball playoffs were insane. So many close games and unexpected upsets. Absolutely. It's one of the best times of the year for sports fans. Any other sports you're into? I enjoy watching tennis and the occasional golf tournament. It's nice to have a variety of sports to follow. Agreed. Sports bring people together and provide some much-needed entertainment. That's true. Let's catch a game together sometime. Set out, begin a journey or start a task. The day has finally come. Are you ready to set out on a road trip across the country? Absolutely. I've been looking forward to this adventure for so long. I can't wait to set out on the open road. We've got the map, snacks, and camping gear all packed. We're all set to set out. It's going to be an amazing journey. I'm glad we're setting out on this together. Me too. It's not every day that you get to set out on a cross-country road trip with your best friend. That's true. We'll have stories to tell for a lifetime after we set out on this journey. I'm excited to see all the places we'll set out to explore and experience the freedom of the open road. And we've planned it all so well. No need to worry about anything once we set out. It's going to be an unforgettable trip, and I can't wait to set out on our first leg of the journey. Let's get in the car, start the engine, and set out on this incredible adventure together. Weather
Can you believe this weather lately? It's been so unpredictable. Tell me about it. One day it's scorching hot, and the next, it's pouring rain. And the humidity. It's been unbearable. I know. I can't wait for some cooler, drier days. Have you seen the forecast for the weekend? I heard it might be sunny and pleasant. Finally, some relief. That sounds like a perfect time for a picnic or a hike. Agreed. I've been itching to spend more time outdoors. Just when I start to enjoy the good weather, it seems like a storm rolls in. That's the way it goes sometimes. But at least we get to experience all the seasons. True, it keeps life interesting, doesn't it? It sure does. Let's hope for some stable weather soon. Put on, wear clothing or apply makeup. Hey, are you ready for the costume party tonight? Almost. I need to figure out what to put on. I'm torn between two different outfits. Well, what are your options? I have a classic vampire costume I could put on. Or I found this amazing pirate outfit in my closet. Both sound great. It really depends on whether you want to put on the charm of a suave vampire or the swashbuckling appeal of a pirate. That's true. I guess I'm leaning toward the vampire costume. But I need to put on some makeup to complete the look. A vampire with the right makeup can be quite impressive. Are you confident you can put on the makeup well? I've been practicing, so I should be able to put it on convincingly. Awesome. The party is going to be a blast, and I can't wait to see what you put on for your costume. Thanks. I hope I can put on a showstopper and fit right in with the party theme. You'll definitely steal the spotlight, whether you put on the vampire or pirate costume. Have fun getting ready. Stand by, support or be loyal to someone. I heard you had a disagreement with Sarah. Is everything okay between you two? Yeah. We had a heated argument, but we'll work it out. I know she'll stand by me, even when we disagree. That's good to hear. It's important to have friends who stand by you through thick and thin. Absolutely. Our friendship is strong, and we've always stood by each other, even in the toughest times. It's a rare and valuable bond. True friends who stand by you no matter what are hard to come by. I feel fortunate to have friends like Sarah. She's always stood by me, and I'll do the same for her. That loyalty and willingness to stand by each other are what make friendships last. You're right. We'll work through this disagreement and continue to stand by each other just like we always have. I'm glad to hear that. And remember, I'll stand by you too if you ever need support or a listening ear. Thanks. That means a lot. It's great to have friends like you in my life who stand by me when times are tough. Put out, extinguish a fire or publish information. Do you smell that? Is something burning in the kitchen?
Oh no, I left the stove on. Let me put out the fire. Quick, get the fire extinguisher. Phew, that was close. Thanks for your help. No problem. It's crucial to know how to put out a fire safely. You're right. I'll be more careful next time. On another note, did you hear about the new magazine that's coming out? Yeah, I heard they're going to put out the first issue next month. It's been highly anticipated. Absolutely. I can't wait to see what kind of content they'll put out. I hope they put out some quality articles and features. The magazine world is competitive. Agreed. Let's see if they can put out something that stands out from the rest. Indeed. I'm looking forward to when they put out the first edition. Same here. I hope it lives up to the hype. Take back, revoke or withdraw a statement or action. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could make sense. They hate when I keep... I can't believe I said those things during the argument yesterday. I understand. Sometimes emotions can get the best of us. Have you thought about taking back what you said? Yes, I regret it. I want to take back those hurtful words, but I'm not sure how to apologize. It's never easy, but it's a good step to admit your mistake and take back the harsh comments. A sincere apology can go a long way. I know I need to make amends. I'll talk to them and take back the words I said. That's a mature decision. Remember, taking back your words doesn't erase what happened, but it shows your willingness to make things right. I hope they'll understand and accept my apology when I take back what I said. I think they will, especially if your apology is genuine. People appreciate it when others are willing to take back their mistakes. Thanks for your support and advice. I'll talk to them and take the first step toward healing the situation. You're welcome. It takes courage to admit your faults and take back your words, but it's the right thing to do. Good luck with the conversation. All of my life's on, all the negativity, man, I'm immune. I don't really need a mask with all the... Take up, begin a new hobby or activity. Have you heard that Sarah's taken up a new hobby? No, I didn't. What is it? She's decided to take up painting. She's been talking about it for a while. That's interesting. I didn't know she had an interest in art. Apparently, it's something she's always wanted to do but never had the time for. Well, it's great that she's finally decided to give it a try. Did she start taking classes or something? Yes, she's enrolled in a local art class to learn the basics. She got all the supplies and even set up a little studio in her spare room. I'm looking forward to seeing her work. I bet she'll be really good at it. Yeah, she's excited about it. It's a nice way to relax and unwind after work. I might consider taking up a hobby myself. It sounds like a fun way to spend your free time. Show off, flaunt one's abilities, possessions, or achievements. Did you see Mary's new car? Yeah, she loves showing it off. 
She's been talking about it nonstop. It's a nice car, but she doesn't have to show off so much. I guess she's proud of it. People like to show off their achievements. True, but there's a fine line between sharing and showing off. It can come off as boastful. I get your point. Some people just enjoy showing off what they have. Speaking of which, did you catch John's presentation at the conference? Yeah, he really knows how to show off his expertise. His presentation was impressive. It's good to showcase skills, but sometimes it feels like he's trying too hard to show off. Agreed. It's essential to find a balance between demonstrating competence and not coming across as too showy. Exactly. People appreciate competence, but no one likes it when someone tries to show off excessively. True. Let's hope he finds that balance in future presentations. It's better to impress subtly than to show off excessively. Act out, express emotions, or perform behavior dramatically. Did you see the play last night at the community theater? Yes, I did. The actors really know how to act out their characters. Absolutely. I was especially impressed with the way they acted out the intense emotional scenes. The lead actor did a fantastic job. He was able to act out the conflicted emotions of his character so convincingly. It's not easy to act out such complex roles, but they pulled it off beautifully. I agree. It's amazing how actors can act out different personas and make you forget they're just playing a role. That's the magic of theater. When they act out a story, it feels like real life unfolding in front of you. And the way they acted out the historical setting with the costumes, and set design added to the authenticity. The whole production was top-notch. It's always a treat to watch talented actors act out a compelling story. I couldn't agree more. I'm looking forward to their next performance. It's a great way to appreciate the art of acting. Internet love. You know, I've been chatting with someone online for months now, and I think I might be falling for them. Really? That's interesting. What's their name? Their username is Stargazer22. We've connected on so many levels, and they seem incredibly sweet and caring. That's nice. But have you considered the potential risks of online relationships? Of course. I've heard stories of people not being who they claim to be, but we video chatted and exchanged pictures. It feels genuine. That's reassuring. Just be cautious and take things slow. Have you talked about meeting in person? We have, and we're planning to meet soon. I'm excited, but also a bit nervous. It's natural to feel that way. Just prioritize your safety and meet in a public place. Thanks for the advice. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Internet love is a whole new world, but it feels real to me. I hope it works out for you. Best of luck with your online connection. Put forward, propose or suggest an idea or plan. I was thinking about our upcoming team project, 
and I'd like to put forward an idea to make it more efficient. That sounds like a great initiative. What's your idea? Well, I think we should put forward a detailed project timeline with specific milestones, so everyone knows what's expected and when. That's a fantastic idea. It will definitely help keep us on track and ensure that everyone is on the same page. I also want to put forward the idea of regular progress check-ins to discuss any challenges and make necessary adjustments as we go. I fully support that. It's important to have those check-ins to address any issues early on and keep the project on the right path. Great. I'll prepare a presentation for our next team meeting to formally put forward these suggestions. That's an excellent plan. Your ideas will undoubtedly contribute to the project's success, and it's important to put them forward for discussion. Thanks for your support. I believe if we put forward these changes, our project will run more smoothly and be completed successfully. I agree. Let's put them forward and see how the team responds. I'm optimistic about the positive impact your ideas will have on our project. Bring together, unite or gather people or things. I heard you're organizing a community event. What's it all about? Yes, it's a charity fundraiser. We want to bring together people from our neighborhood to support a local children's hospital. That's a wonderful cause. How are you planning to bring together the community for this event? We're hosting a fun run in the park. It's a great way to bring people of all ages together while raising funds. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Have you been able to bring together a team to help you with the event planning? Yes, we formed a committee, and we're all working hard to bring everything together. We have folks handling logistics, marketing, and entertainment. I'd love to help out. Can I bring my friends too? Absolutely. The more, the merrier. We want to bring together as many people as possible to make a difference. Great. I'll let my friends know and help you bring together more volunteers for the event. Thank you so much. With the support of the community, we can bring together a successful fundraiser that truly makes an impact on those kids' lives. I'm excited to be part of it and help bring the community together for this cause. Take off. Become airborne or achieve success. Did you hear about Lisa's new startup? She's been working on it for months. Yeah, she's been pouring her heart into it. I'm excited to see if it'll take off. Me too. I hope all her hard work pays off and her business really takes off. She's got a great concept, so I wouldn't be surprised if it takes off quickly. Starting a business can be tough, but when it finally takes off, it's incredibly rewarding. I agree. Success can be a long time coming, but when it does, it's worth the effort. I've seen many entrepreneurs struggle but those who persevere often see their businesses take off eventually. That's true. The key is to keep working hard even when it doesn't seem like it's going to take off right away. Lisa's determination and her innovative ideas give her a good chance for it to take off. Let's hope her business takes off and she achieves the success she's been dreaming of. We should definitely support her and help in any way we can to ensure it takes off. Agreed. With a little help from her friends, her startup will have a better chance to take off successfully.
Make four, head towards or cause a particular result. The weather looks quite ominous. Do you think we should start heading back? I agree. Those dark clouds seem like rain is imminent. Let's make for the car before we get caught in a downpour. Good idea. I don't have an umbrella, and I'd rather not get soaked. This hike has been great, though. The scenic views made up for the sudden change in weather. Absolutely, it was worth it. Sometimes, nature's unpredictability can make for memorable experiences. You're right. Even though the weather might force us to cut this hike short, it's been an adventure. Nature has its own way of making for unique moments. I'm just glad we got to enjoy it before the rain. Me too. Next time, we'll check the weather forecast before heading out, but today's unexpected turn will be a story to remember. That's for sure. Let's make for the car quickly. I can already feel a few raindrops. Go ahead, proceed or continue with something. I heard you've been working on a new project. How's it coming along? It's going well so far. We've completed the initial planning phase, and now we're ready to go ahead with the execution. That's great to hear. Do you have everything you need to move forward? Almost. There are a few minor details to iron out, but nothing major. We should be able to go ahead with the first stage by the end of the week. Excellent. If you need any help or support, feel free to reach out. I'm here to assist in any way I can. Thanks, I appreciate that. I might take you up on that offer as we get deeper into the project. No problem at all. It's important to have a strong team and support system when you go ahead with such a significant project. You're absolutely right. I'm looking forward to seeing this project through successfully. I have no doubt it will be a great success. Good luck with everything. Lay out, arrange or display something systematically. Have you had a chance to lay out the new marketing strategy? Not yet. I was planning to do it this afternoon. Any specific guidelines? Yes, we need to highlight the key objectives and lay out the steps for implementation. Got it. I'll make sure to lay out a clear timeline as well. Good. It's essential to lay out the budget allocation too. We want everyone to be on the same page. I'll incorporate that into the presentation. Anything else? Make sure to lay out the potential challenges and how we plan to address them. Transparency is key. Understood. I'll also lay out the expected outcomes and benefits for the team. Perfect. Let's schedule a brief meeting tomorrow to go through it together before the client presentation. Sure. I'll have everything laid out by then. Thanks for the guidance. No problem. It's crucial that we lay out a comprehensive plan for a successful rollout. Put away, store something in its proper place. I can't find the stapler anywhere. Have you seen it? Oh, sorry. I used it earlier. 
I'll put it away in the drawer now. Thanks. It's just frustrating when things aren't put away where they belong. I get it. I'll try to be more mindful of putting things away after using them. Speaking of which, have you put away the documents from the last meeting? We might need them for reference. Not yet, but I'll put them away in the filing cabinet after I finish this task. Great. It's important to put away important documents promptly to avoid any confusion later. Agreed. I'll make a habit of putting things away immediately after use to keep the workspace organized. That would be helpful. It's much easier to find things when they're put away properly. I'll definitely put more effort into maintaining a tidy workspace and putting things away. Thanks for bringing it up. No problem. It just makes our work more efficient when everything is put away where it belongs. Go back, return to a previous location or time. I found some old photos from our college days. Really? I'd love to see them. It's a trip down memory lane. Can we go back to those days for a moment? Sure thing. Let's go back in time and reminisce. Look at this one. It's from that road trip we took to the beach during spring break. Oh, I remember that. We got caught in that rainstorm and we were completely drenched. It was so much fun. And this one is from our graduation day. Can you believe it's been 10 years since then? Time flies. It's hard to believe we've come this far since our college days. Those were some of the best years of our lives. I wish we could go back for just a little while. Me too. But even though we can't go back in time, we have some amazing memories to cherish. That's true. It's nice to take a moment to remember where we've been and the journey that got us here. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing these photos. They bring back some wonderful memories. <laughs>